Hi there, my name is Curly Johnson and I'll be taking you through another math fundamental. The unit standard title is to identify, describe, compare, classify, explore, shape and motion in two and three dimensional shapes in different contexts. And the specific outcomes for this unit standard are estimate, measure and calculate physical quantities to solve problems in practical situations. Explore transformations of two-dimensional geometric figures. So the topic is units of measurement. The imperial system is a numerical system used by America and the United Kingdom. Some examples of the imperial system is gallon, measuring volume, stone, measuring weight, and miles, measuring distance. The rest of the world, Africa, Europe, we use the metric system. Some examples of the metric system are meters, millimeters, liters, grams, and kilograms. So what we notice is that the metric system works in multiples of 10. The current international system works hand in hand with the metric system. So learners, bear in mind that when we do this unit standard, we are working with the metric system. So let's take a look at two examples of how to convert between SI and the imperial system. Our first example is convert 50 meters into yards if one meter is equal to 1.0936 yards. Remember, one meter is equivalent to 1.0936 yards. So the rule of math is, what we do on the one side, we do on the other side. So if I times this by 50, surely I will times the other by 52. That will give us 1.0936 times by 50, which is equal to 54, 54 what? Yards. Please do not forget the units. Therefore, 50 meters is equal to 54 yards. Let's look at how to convert 5 feet to meters. And the conversion factor is 1 foot is equal to 0 0.267 meters. So we are converting 5 feet into meters. So 1 times 5 on this side is equal to 5 times 0 0.267. Therefore 5 feet is equal to 1.335 meters. So remember, the conversion factors are always given to you, or it can be searched online. So no need to worry. So the next topic that we are going to look at is area and volume. So remember, you can find the formulas for perimeter, area, and volume inside your learner guide. Let's take a look at how to calculate the area of a rectangular prism. So the formula to calculate the area is 2 open bracket breadth times height plus length times breadth plus length times height close bracket so a rectangular prism looks like this and over here we have the length Breath, height. So, in our example, we are given 6 centimeters as the length, 3 centimeters as the breadth, and 4 centimeters as the height. So, we are given this formula in the learner guide. So, let's substitute the formula with the dimensions. Breadth 
which is equivalent to 3. Height is 4. Plus length, which is 6, times by breadth, which is 3. Plus length, which is 6, times by height, which is 4. So this will equal to 2, open brackets, 12, plus 18, plus 24, which will be equal to 2 times 54. This brings us to our final answer, which is area is equal to 108 centimeters squared. Don't forget that area is always calculated in the unit squared. So let's take a look at how to calculate the volume for the same shape. So the formula for volume is length times breadth times height. As per our last example, the length was 6, the breadth was 3, and the height was 4 centimeters. So if you use your calculator, this equals to 72 centimeters cubed. Remember, volume is cubed. Area is squared. So let's take a look at a second example, calculating the area and volume of a cylinder. So this is what a cylinder looks like. It has height. It has the radius. Remember, the diameter is two times the radius. But with this formula, we are only working with radius and the height. The formula, as per the learner guide, is 2 times pi times r squared. Remember, pi is equal to 22 over 7, which is equal to 3.14. In this formula, we only need the radius. And in this case, the radius is 20 centimeters. So if we substitute, we end up with 2 times by 3.14 times by the radius, which is 20 squared. That will give you 2 times 3.14 times by 400. Using your calculator now, your answer is 7536 centimeters squared. So that was the formula to calculate the area of a cylinder. Now let's look at the volume. So the formula for volume is equal to pi times r squared times h. So we know that h is 40 centimeters. So let's substitute 3.14 times by r squared, which is equivalent to 400, times by the height, which is 40 centimeters. So using your calculator then, volume equals 50240 centimeters, you guessed it, cube. Now, we had my favorite topic. The theorem of Pythagoras. Pythagoras' theorem says that with the right angle triangle, so we have the three sides, A, B, and C. C being the hypotenuse. Which is also the longest side on the right angle triangle and directly opposite the 90 degree mark. So Pythagoras' theorem is as follows. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Bear in mind 
there are three variables, C, A, and B. You'll be given two of these variables, and you'll be asked to calculate the missing one. This can be done by adjusting the formula. For this exercise, we are only focusing on C. So let's substitute these values into Pythagoras' formula. C squared equals 3 to the power of 2 plus 4 to the power of 2, which is equal to 9 plus 16. Therefore, C squared is equal to 25. So in our rule of math, what we do on the left, we do on the right. So let's square root C squared. Therefore, we square root 25. Remember, square root is the opposite of a square. Therefore, something times something is equal to 25. If you type this into your calculator, C is equal to 5. Oh, I forgot the centimeters. Very important, guys. Don't forget it. Now, we can say that the length of C is equal to 5 centimeters. Now we have the topic, transformation of two-dimensional geometric figures. So let's define axis of symmetry, which is also found in the learner guide. So the definition of the axis of symmetry is where we can cut the shape using a straight line and end up with two of the same shapes with the same sizes. So let's see how many axes of symmetry there are for this isosceles triangle. One, two, three. So there are three ways of folding this isosceles triangle and still ending up with, for example, two parts that are the same size. So let's take a look at our second example, a rectangle. A rectangle has one, two axis of symmetry. So let me try drawing a third axis of symmetry. Would they meet? Let's see. So here's a practical example. If I fold it according to our axis, look, they're equal. The other one, they're equal. So here's what I prepared. I've drawn the dotted line on the piece of paper. As you can see, they are not equal. So therefore, this is not an axis of symmetry. This rectangle only has two axes of symmetry. Now let's take a look at a concept called transformation. The definition of transformation is the operation on a 2D figure that affects its position, shape, and size. And the other concept is called translation, which is the movement of an object measured by the direction and the length of the movement where the shape and size stays the same. Now there are two special forms of translation, rotation and reflection. If this is our axis, we have a point over here. This is the point of origin. So if you have a rotation of about 180 degrees clockwise, that will mean, that will mean our shape will end up over there. Now let's look at the concept of reflection. Remember, this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. If you are asked to reflect an L about the y-axis, your L will look like this. This brings us to our final topic of unit standard 9008, sorting numbers. So take a look at the numbers on the slide. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Pretty simple. But what is between 1 and 2? 
Between numbers 1 and 2, you get 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, and so on up to 1.9. If you are given a set of random numbers as given in the slide, you may be asked to order smallest to biggest. So take a look at our example in the slide. You're given 1.1, 5.6, 3.2, 4.4, and 4.5. Do you agree that 1 is smaller than 3, 3 is smaller than 4, and 4 is smaller than 5? So, if we had to reorder these numbers from the smallest to the largest, they would be as follows. 1.1, 3.2, 4.4, 4.6, and 5.6. So my name is Curtly Johnson, and I want to thank you for joining me with this unit standard. Keep up the good work. I'll see you next time.